At last, bull and horse had been beaten, and Kutaro's pride restored. But pride comes before a fall, they say. Expect plenty of dark twists and evil schemes as we stride into what I like to call Act Five. I hope you're ready for a spooky time. And so the I hope this continues. game just throws it all at me. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> A short time ago, in a galaxy far from far away, with the power of Calibris and the might of the four champions, Kutaro had won victory after victory against the vicious Moon Bear King. More than half the moon had been freed, and the noose was tightening around the tyrant as his moonstone shards were taken and his advantage slipped away. Kutaro's deeds of Deving Do had become a beacon of hope, and the beleaguered peoples of the moon were on the brink of rebellion. The flimsy soul of a selfish boy had become the adamantine soul of a hero. Kutaro, may the forceps, <clears throat> I mean scissors, be with you. I was expecting Haunted World, not Star Wars World, but okay. Kutaro and Picarina were winding their way back to the wild waste when they got lost in a dense forest. And as dark clouds settled in overhead, our duo found themselves longing more and more for the light of the sun. Eesh. We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> hey, maybe we should, like, turn back. Yeah, I mean, getting lost would be a total bummer. Okay, back to the entrance. But alas, neither one of them had the foggiest idea from whence they came. Chicken out. You're the hero of the moon, the big cheese. You took that bull by the horns and won, right, champ? Surely Kutaro was strong enough to wrangle a couple of trees. Look, you've got a moon to save and a sun princess to please. So man up, kiddo! As if he had a choice. The only road was forward, or whatever direction they were facing. So our hero steeled himself and pressed on. The pale blue light of the earth, his only guide. The head was this is really cool. Kutaro and Picarina right into the labyrinthine clutches of the snacker boss. What's this face doing in our face? I'll do a little recon. Uh, okay. I'm gonna like throw a bomb, bomb at it. it yeah. And then oh, cool. What's it doing? Oh, we need to chase it. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. This is really interesting, huh? Like, yeah. Let Let's create a darkness world in in the creative way of Puppeteer. Yes, please. I'm all for this. Like, darkness levels can be eh, but if they're done well, Crash does darkness levels quite well, I find. If, if they're done well, then it's not too egregious. This is done super well so far. I really like this. What a brilliant idea! <laughs> <laughs> I am just digging all of this. Like, uh, I got a pumpkin head as well. <laughs> Pretty cool. Alright, we're running. I assume it's coming after me. I... Oh, am I dead? <laughs> no, we're good. Sweet. Haha. -ha. So we're going to be fighting the Headless Horseman at some point. Kutaro and Picarina continued their trek through the dense and licorice black sugar shadows of the Snacker Boss. Is that the gun? Yeah, that's the gun. We've already got the gun. Whoa! Oh, I don't like.
Yes, you are. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, hello. Sorry, you startled me a little bit. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Please. Okay, we're good. This music's really great. I'm working on it. Oh. oh, I got my head back. Good. What a waste of good dessert. Don't worry, my dear. The stage crew will eat the leftovers. This is so cool. Yeah. Oh. Yummy and dangerous. <laughs> Which will kill us? Good. The chocolate bars crumbling or diabetes? You decide. Jelly! Oh, we got we got a rocket. Yeah, I, I see you. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, alright. Here you go. Oh. Oh, wow! To him. Oh, I see. We can... Right, right, right. I see. I will save you. Scarecrow friend, hello. Gee, thanks. I'm fine with crows, but go scare me out with riches. Uh, that's nice. But if you really want to thank us, tell us where the heck we are. Pardon? Oh, well, you're all uh, on the outskirts of... Halloweenville, cozy place two of the moon bear king's generals come along and did stuff to the local pumpkins did stuff that's right they made it so snacks sprout all over them huh that explains the candy and cookie trees oh hope you didn't all eat them because the townsfolk that did all turned into half of monsters just desserts, you might say. <laughs> what was that? Wolves? Ha! <laughs> to our dogs, General Dog. He's all that stops us from running for the hills. Come on, Kataro. Let's whip that puppy and take his moonstone shard. Is that going to be the head of the sauce one we saw earlier? Cool. Mildly terrifying, but cool! Whoa, oh no. They're out in droves. How are we gonna get past him? Look! Maybe we need to move when the fireflies do. Cool. Alright. Can do. Through the snacker boss shadowy branches. Uh, this is so don't brilliant. Worry, Katara, I've got your back. I know you do. We appreciate your help. It's it's all gonna be fine. Our hero blazed on like a flaming pumpkin in the dark. No chasm for the Brazil as he crossed I mean, the dire mosses. I could have just done that. Like <laughs> I just decided to jump down and in, in the hope that I wouldn't die. But uh, no, it worked perfectly fine. I, I like how the game is just like, no, you've, you've got a path, but... Ah, oh, I don't have a cake head. That's a shame. Cake head sounds pretty good. Alas, not to be this time. I think I've mentioned this before, the music reminds me of Nino Kuni. Like this, this one in particular does. Closer and closer. It's, it's very good though. Nino Kuni is such a great game. I really like the second one as well. Um, it, it it does stuff that I don't think are as good, um, but it also does some really great stuff uh, for gameplay especially, um, which is really great. Oh no, that was a mistake. Go! Um, 
yeah, I I ended up uh, oh no, um, I ended up streaming it uh, when it came out, and yeah, it's uh, something on my stream again for member streams actually, because um, it would be good to play it again, and I've I've got the DLC now, so it'd be good to be able to play the DLC and experience the the new stuff. So I believe it added a lot to the game. So is that what we've done? We've just lit up the entire level. That's pretty cool. Mm. Well. Hello. Just outside the bosk, General Dom stood watch like some great Stygian hound. You are firewood. So this is General Dog. Huh? Wait a second. He's on a leash. Huh? Uh, what leash? You know, maybe we should just ignore him. Yeah, let's go. Woo, woo, woo. Wait, don't go. Do you mind? We're in a hurry. Woo. All I want woo. is for that nasty moon bear king woo, woo. to scratch my ears. Ah, uh, scratch this. Woo, woo, woo. Are we playing? Oh my gosh. Come on, Kataro. Woo, woo, Please, woo. just for a minute. No way. Look at me. You know, I think I'm a cat person. I am big and strong. If you beat me, you can have my moonstone piece. <laughs> We'd get that anyway. I know you love me. Uh, let me count the ways. Oh boy, she does. Could this quite possibly be the dumbest animal I've ever seen? What do you say, Kitaro? Should we throw him a bone? I love bones. I think it's safe to say his brain's his weak point. Give him a flump! Woo, woo, woo. The problem with that, though, is he's got some kind of electrical field above it, so... Don't really know how that's gonna work. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, no. Okay, it's uh, it's the first boss. Oh, I feel kind of bad. Not that bad, but yeah, no, it totally is the uh, like the earlier boss. Yeah, I know how to deal with you. Oh, okay. I'm going. Don't go. Cut this bone down. Oh, we're cutting the bone. That makes more sense. Go, go, okay, the electrical field doesn't hurt me. That's handy. I thought it would, but... Oh. <laughs> That's not okay. Oh. No, my head! I got it back! There we go. I do feel bad, like it licks its paw. That's sad. Yeah, let's do this. Hold it. Nailed it. Are we done? Yeah, I think so. Working on it. I'm glad that hit. I thought I missed. Uh, did I fail? No, no, we're good. Oh no. I do feel quite bad about this. Oh no! Attaboy, slugger! See, that was just the tip of the Kataro iceberg. Hey! A moonstone shard! How many are we up to now? I can't keep count. 
The house was a sugary sucker punch to the appetite. Their eyes started at the fluffy whipped green snow on the milk chocolate shingles and wandered longingly down crispy, crunchy cookie walls until they found the sticky temptation of the candy windows. Their minds were still toying with thoughts of macaroon molding and Baumkuchen banisters when their eyes wisely decided to shut up and let them smell the darn thing. Oh my gosh, yummy! Do you, do you think they would mind if we took a bite? We haven't eaten in, like, minutes. No, 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 must not eat delicious house. We need to get... The Moonstone! <laughs> I have you! Oh. What's that? <laughs> Gizarro, your belt is spewing gas! Flawless oh, victory! <laughs> it was a trap! Our champ had stopped to chomp just long enough for the chimp to make a chomp on him. Cool! So chapter two is gonna be like a Hansel and Gretel situation. Neat. I'm all for that. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Dog shot in the With a flash of that is a stretch of a pun. Oh my god. Monster and freed the soul of every last child in the fiend's clutches. Well done, Kutaro. The souls he freed were homeward bound. Did we get all the souls? For there were only nine. We might have actually. I mean, uh, let me double check that. But I think we did. Which is pretty good, if so. Quite happy with that. Ah. Let me take a gander. We did! Not so good on the head last, count, but, uh, souls. That's not bad. Tried. 